Hi everyone and welcome to our video. Although this game isn't native for Mac, we found a couple of solutions. Boostroid, GeForce Now, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and Crossover, and a combination of Boostroid with Xbox Game Pass, which is by far the best method to play the game and the best value you will find. If you don't know anything about these methods, we'll help you in a sec. But if you know what you want to use, look at the timestamps and jump to the segment you want. If there's something specific for this game, it's probably already in our instructions. But if it's not, we'll update it in a comment and mark the timestamp. Claire Obscure uses Unreal Engine 5 and every UE5 game is incredibly heavy to run locally on Macs, even if you scale down the settings. My personal rule of thumb is that it's just better to use cloud gaming for anything demanding because you'll get both better graphics and performance for your money. Running it through crossover is possible, but performance is an issue on anything below M1 Pro chips. Plus, you can only get a 12-month subscription or lifetime license for crossover, neither of which is exactly cheap. Don't get me wrong, it's still a valid option, just not for everyone. By far the best value we found is to cloud stream the game on Boosteroid with Game Pass. This way you don't buy and own the game, but you can play it for a total of $11, and that's for a game that costs $50 by itself. Also, if you end up not liking it, you still get access to over 100 other games with the same subscription instead of thinking you wasted your money. Boosteroid is a cloud gaming service, so all you need to do to use it is follow the link in the description, register on the Boosteroid site, and start your subscription. And in order to get Claire Obscure with Game Pass, you must also click the Xbox link in the description, sign up with your Microsoft account, and subscribe to the Game Pass PC option, which only costs $1 for the first two weeks. Then simply find the game in Boosteroid, launch its Xbox version, and enter your Xbox logins to start playing. You can also obviously play the Steam version, but then you first need to own it on Steam. For all other methods except Xbox Cloud Gaming, you must buy Claire Obscure. You can get it directly from Steam, but I recommend checking some of the deals included in the video description. We will only include official sellers so there's zero risk for you, and you can find the game much cheaper on these sites than on Steam. The way to set up GeForce Now is exactly the same. You just register, choose a preferred plan, and launch the game either in the in-browser version of the cloud service or through its Mac OS app. And for the xCloud option, you must be subscribed to the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Plan, which gives you access to both the cloud platform and a bunch of games. Just remember that you need a controller to play games in the xCloud. There's no keyboard and mouse support yet. Those were the cloud gaming options. Now let's move on to Crossover, the only viable way to play Claire Obscure locally on Mac. For Crossover, follow the respective link below, register and either purchase the app or go for its 14-day free trial which is what I recommend. After Crossover downloads, launch it, install the app, and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to Install, find Steam, and install it in the new bottle. Steam will start automatically, so close it, enable D3D Metal and eSync, and then start Steam again. All that's left to do now is find the game in your library, install it, and click Play. Now what about other potential methods that may help? I did try a couple more, Whiskey, Bootcamp, and Shadow PC, but each of them had some type of downside that was a deal breaker to me. Bootcamp is almost unusable for games like Claire Obscure, because this only works on Intel Macs and the majority of them simply lack the hardware to run such demanding games. Whiskey, a free but jankier version of Crossover, proved too much of a hassle. No matter what I tried, I couldn't get the game to run normally, and considering the app is no longer supported by its dev, I doubt these issues will be fixed. Finally, Shadow PC is basically a high-tier cloud service. It does get the job done, but it's pricier than other cloud alternatives while not giving you a notably better gaming experience. In other words, you'd be better off choosing any of the other cloud solutions I mentioned before. So those were the methods that worked for us. Did you already try any of them? Do you know any other workarounds? Let us know in the comments below. Till next time!